a wonderful question because Ed kept saying to me, I want you to retire. (laughs) (laughs) And he said, I told you already that I want you to retire because he wanted to spend more time with me because I would go to the school 7.30, I'm in my office all the way to 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and he would be waiting for me. And he'd have his cocktail, Mm. you know, (laughs) and the evening. So he's so anxious that entire day to see me. So for me, that was my joy, was working in school with all my colleagues and the students. The students meant I would come home and then I would see the joy of my life. Mm -hmm. So I had the best of both worlds. Now the school was also, all the schools I went to were so understanding, knowing Ed's background. Mm-hmm. So whenever we would have to travel, they would give me the, 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 the days that I needed to fly wherever with him. Wow. So I never was uh, needed to stop my work but to give up a reunion, a, a, a speech, mm-hmm. a luncheon, a dinner, because I was able to balance it because the institutions understood my life. My mm-hmm. life was... Part of it was it, and because they were so proud of him. In fact, I mean, Beverly Hills Unified School District closed the day that his mass was held at St. Paul the Apostle. Mm -hmm. Every single secretary was there at the church. Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, that was the best tribute that a school could give Mm -hmm. to my men, and that was because they saw him. They would always see us together because he would come with the driver to pick me up. So everybody knew him. And so that's the kind of relationship that I had with the students, with the counselors, with the administration, and with the military organizations was the same. Every group. And I kept them all connected. So whenever we would have, like I said, I'm going... Mm-hmm. The U.S. Cavalry bivouac. In fact, they're dedicating one of the stalls of the horses in his memory. All of this, he is there with his uniform museum, in the museum, cavalry museum with his boots. The cavalry painting is there. So every place I go of the military, he's there. Mm. And so... Right. It was full. From beginning of the day to the end of the day. Mm-hmm. And now I am also very busy, but it's just that I don't see him, but I feel him all the time. Right. Dr. Ramsey, you have so many beautiful memories, and I'm sure oh, yes. you cannot even choose which one will be your favorite. But could you relate some of the stories where, you know, you could really feel the sense of humor of the man we know as the hero? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, uh, you know, for me, I mean, some of the funny stories, in fact, were related by by uh, Admiral Levinson uh, at the Remembrance. And so this thing just started coming. Mm-hmm. And Admiral Levinson said one of the funny stories is we were in a, a sentimental journey mm-hmm. back to baton, corregidor, and all, and we brought the whole cavalry, and Ed was in charge, and I'm, I'm there. And so Ed is pointing out to all of the areas in Subic Bay, the, the uh, forces came in, mm-hmm. and I am looking at one eye, and I'm seeing Admiral Levinson approaching, and I recognized him as the commander of Subic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then... <laughs> He taps him on the shoulder, and and Ed turns around and he said, "What you?" And he used, you know, the letters. <laughs> <laughs> Three men, you know, veterans and all yeah. about this. When you're the commander of this, <laughs> and Admiral Levinson said, "Ed, you were doing a fabulous job." <laughs> and so we laughed like crazy. And that's what Admiral Levinson was saying. 